numbers which will be for your luggage the luggage will have a matching number to the ones i'm giving you right all right so we're gonna go purchase our water taxi tickets the next one's at 1 30 so we have about 30 minutes Alright, made it to Key Cocker. Gonna grab our luggage and then our Airbnb host Pike is picking us up. Welcome to Key Cocker, and that's actually Pike right there. Pike? Hey. Hi, we're waiting just for our luggage. Hi. Pike. Uh, yep. Leo. Pike. Leo. So a quick little tour of the island before we get to our Airbnb. Pike showing us the uh, type tough life on this island. <laughs> So the little cabin right here, that's our Airbnb. This is Puda. Uh, Doberman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Puda and then, then we have Riffy. Hey, hey. 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 Okay, so the cabana is pretty much the studio. We have our bed right here. Place, place our luggage, hang our clothes, TV, little seat, seating area. Little kitchenette area, our walk in shower, and our restroom. Pretty much all we need. Okay, so we're gonna get uh, settled in and then we'll probably go grab something to eat. Okay, so we're gonna go grab something to eat. Right, so I'm trying to do ceviche and just kind of came back up to the area where the water taxi dropped us off, and there's a bunch of restaurants on the bar, so pretty much just picked the one that said they had ceviche. This one. They said they have ceviche. I want to hang out here, but I cannot. Right. I heard that the, yes, that's one thing that a lot of people, um, we did a lot of YouTube videos on the whole place. And a lot of people said the same thing, like, um, they want to do the place on the top. Yeah. 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 All right, so first time trying clam ceviche. And then, I think you got the snapper, right? Get a chip. Load it up with some pico de gallo. Pick up a clam, pico de gallo. Mm -hmm. So we just finished eating, uh, we're going to head to the market, grab some ice and probably some drinks and we actually met someone here at the restaurant so uh, she invited us to go do trivia at the uh, sports bar so we're going to go ahead and do that after we head over to the supermarket. Okay so we're back over here by the uh, water taxi which wasn't too far by the restaurant that we were eating earlier. We're going to go to the uh, sports bar to do the uh, trivia game, that's where we're supposed to meet up with Jen who we met at dinner time, see if we don't get stood up. This is Mike. He's our, our, our trivia guide. Hello, Mike. Leo. Mike. Yeah, brother. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So they I said did. we need six hey, teams in order for it to happen. Oh. This is my new friend Warren. Oh, we met down in Warren. Warren or Lauren? Warren. Warren. I day. Huh? I day. It started raining, so we coming inside. Oh, the rain in Spain falls mainly on wherever I am. Hi. Nice. I should have stuck. I love that. Let's move. Yeah. 
It's an uh, it's awful How many? Five? Five. Five. Mother always told me, be careful what you do. Don't go around breaking young girls' hearts. We won this that one. That is Michael Jackson. Woo! That's us right here. Billy Jean. Woo! And the team names, after round one, after round two, sorry. A quiz on her face, 18 points. Slippery Booney is 69, 17 points. Can I get a drum roll, please? I quizzed on her face. Which team's that? Okay. If there's a tiebreaker or not, but we settle it with a suck off. If this man wants he to prove he can suck off better than a woman, that's fine. Three, two, one, go! Suck, suck, suck! Come on! Get it empty. We have a winner. Asmeth is in third. I'm sorry, quiz on your face. Um, but you got a free beer. <laughs> and the burps for a while. <laughs> so that's it for us for tonight. We're gonna ride our bikes home and I thought our bikes were tied up. Where are they? Oh. <laughs> that's it for tonight. We'll pick this up again tomorrow. All right, so it's our first full day here in uh, Key Cocker. Woke up to a little bit of rain, and actually starting the day off late, we slept in since this was the first time we've had the opportunity to sleep in. Um, we're gonna go grab, well, it's gonna be breakfast for us, but pretty much lunch. Um, and then after that, go over to, I think it's called uh, Sip and Dip, or Dip and Sit, and the Lazy Liz Lizard, and just hang out on the beach. in there. It's starting to get ugly, but it actually feels really good. There's no humidity right now. Yeah, those clouds are really dark. Alright, so our jerk chicken. So we're at the split, specifically the lazy lizard. Pretty much just been, I want to say, the good part of the afternoon, late afternoon here. Hopefully the sun comes out so it gets warm enough and I'll actually go swimming. And the whole reason this place is called the split, because that part of the island needs to be attached to this side. But Hurricane Hattie came and split the island in half. You have some berries, uh, which you can take for five of uh, these dollars to take you across. It started to clear up for a little bit. And So there's rain, the rain has let up a little bit. It is like somewhat of a drizzle, but this is the uh, situation we're dealing with now. Flooded roads. Try to head back to the Airbnb. Um, hopefully it'll stop, but it's our bikes right there. Definitely gonna be pedaling through some puddles. Looks like it's trying to clear up though. So it's cleared up a little, so we're gonna try to Right back now. Ditching puddles on the way though. She stopped at the same restaurant uh, that we ate the first night, the ceviche, to get some food to go, some tacos and pupusas. I came in a place to order. Leon was across the street with the bike. And then all of a sudden this happened. Luckily, we still gotta wait for our food to be made. So hopefully it'll clear up by then so that we can at least get home while it's not raining. All right, so we made it back to the Airbnb before the rain started again. 
Um, that's it. That's pretty much it for today. We're just gonna go ahead and sit down and eat our dinner that we just picked up. So overall today was not very productive. We just spent the day at the split, enjoying and relaxing. Um, don't have any plans for tomorrow. I actually don't have any plans at all for Key Cocker. We're just kind of seeing how the days are, playing it as it goes. So tomorrow hopefully there's better weather and we'll see if it'll just be a relaxable day again or if we'll actually maybe book a tour or something. But that's it for today. Okay, so it's our last full day here in Key Cocker. We're gonna go and try to grab some fried jacks for breakfast after that, playing it by ear, because again, we have no plans while we're here. Last night, we did actually get a really good storm. It first started off windy and then rainy, like pouring down, and then thunderstorms. The thunder was so loud, it actually like shook and vibrated the cabin. All right, so hopefully we'll get lucky and the fried jack place is opened. So the roads are a lot worse today, a lot more muddier. It pretty much rained from what? like midnight to like eight o'clock this morning non-stop and like pouring pouring down and that's just california rain We're talking about tropical rain so this is what it looks like right in after rain so this is a spot that we are eating our fry jacks at it's this little mom and pop spot right here it's the side of the road this lady said she's gonna show us something cool look at the gold inside of it wow All right, so we both got the, the uh, chicken, cheese, and bean fried jack. All right, we're gonna grab some waffles, and then from here, we're gonna head out to this uh, coffee place. Okay, so our Belgian waffle is banana and Nutella. Then we also got a caramel frap. All right, we're gonna do some tarpoon feeding. So after breakfast, we actually just went back to the Airbnb and rested for a minute. And now we're out again. Weather feels pretty good, still overcast. Not too, the humidity is not too bad. Right here? Iguana. Easily what? Two feet? Three feet with the tail? To be away from the deck and like a foot over the water and they will come and take it off your hands. Mm. So when they come up, they might hit the palm of your hands. It's like giving you a hard high five. But you're going to be fine. <laughs> a little shaken, but fine. <laughs> I'm not starting, but you can see them right there. They're like, ooh, someone's come to feed us. Yes, we have. Here we go. Oh, shit. So just finished finish feeding the uh, tarpon. How do you say it? Tarpon. Tarpon. Tarpon? Tarpon. 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 Leon said it's called tarpon. I was saying tarpon. But anyway, so <laughs> we just finished and uh, I don't know. Let's see where we're headed. Where we're blah, blah, blah. So we're going to check out the uh, sip and dip and stay here for the next hour because I want to go and feed the uh, rays at the Iguana Reef Inn. Go test this water. swings I was on earlier. We'll walk to the end of the dock and just explore. Should have came all the way over here. They have a slide. And then the lazy lizard, that's where we were at yesterday. Turned out to be uh, actually pretty, pretty good day compared to what it was from uh, this morning. Uh, 
Okay, so we obviously are not at the sit and sip. We're at Iguana Reef, parked our bikes, and we are here for the rig feeding. A couple minutes late. Leon got us lost. All right, so this is the spot at the uh, Iguana Reef Inn. Actually, so here's a better shot uh, of the crowd. So you pretty much feed them at four, so the stingrays come up. Everybody knows about that, and this is the crowd you can expect. Okay, so I just realized I didn't end the uh, video yesterday. So after the rays at the Iguana Reef, we headed back over to the Lazy, li Lazy Lizard. And I'm gonna jump off the uh, 20 foot, 20 foot. I heard it's slippery. Hoping I'll lose my footing. Water is choppy and... Here we go. Where we spent the rest of the afternoon we ended up actually meeting up with warren there which is who we met the uh, first night uh, at the trivia bar um then later on that evening he invited us to a reg reggae bar where we basically spent the rest of the night just hanging out on the rooftop bar with him so it's our last day here in key cocker uh, we're grabbing a quick bite here at the uh, fried jack place we we're actually trying to come to yesterday we have an hour before our flight leaves all right so i just got a simple plain bean and cheese uh, Leon got what? Ham and eggs. Okay. All right, so we're checking out now, and Pike's gonna drop us off at the airport. Thank you again. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It was very nice. Appreciate it. Okay, so this is the little airport here, uh, Key Cocker, and we're flying out with uh, Tropic Air. Thank you, Pike. Thank you. Alright, so we're heading home and so that's pretty much it for this one. Till the next one.